YouTube, how you doing? This is Puck. Today I want to show you my Windows 8 Second Edition concept. Why do I call it a concept? Because it's built on Windows 7. And as you all know, Windows 7 was built on Windows Vista. And Windows Vista was an improvement of Windows XP. And now that we got Windows 8, you know, Microsoft really made a choice and they choose for the upcoming generation computer users and I'm talking about youth I'm talking about telephone users Windows 7 phone users Windows 8 phone users Android users um, Apple iPhone users you know in fact these three companies um, even though they fight in the news uh, we must consider them as our companies and we shouldn't hate on none of them not on Android from Google not on Apple from uh, uh, not on iPhone from Apple or the iDevices and also not on Microsoft Microsoft really made a choice but the choice Microsoft made wasn't really the choice that the old school PC users wanted to see. We all know that story. Yesterday night before I went to bed, I was reading an article on the internet of some guy. And the guy was talking about uh, if the Metro screen was really an uh, improvement for uh, the computer user. And he took as as, as, uh, as an example his, his daughter, you know? his young his little daughter and she was always playing with paint on the old computer you know on the normal Windows 7 computer she know how to find the paint and do her painting and um, then the guy got a Windows 8 computer and um, you know more often the child would use the Windows 8 computer so that means the young generation and people with less computer know-how they would choose for Windows 8 because it's already all there and in fact many people don't really know what to do with a computer so you know they will really uh, uh, enjoy seeing all these things you know showing them the way how to do things how to read the news how to play a game how to whatever they want to do that they didn't know what they wanted to do so for us old school users that is like a headache because we already know what we want to do on the computer so you know they had to come like something in Windows 8 second edition that would also make the old school user happy you know and I had a whole discussion about the thing you know I, I see 180 people watch the video three said okay one said it sucks you know but no comments nobody's talking and probably they all think this guy is crazy and he's just talking and blah 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 you know but it's not blah 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 because it's about our computer future and if you have no computer future I understand if you're just somebody that just like to tap on things you know that people give to you companies show you to tap on that's your good right you know we still like you you are a wonderful person but we the people that have to do our job you know we're like old bastards and we're retards in the computer world so you know we like to do our things the way we used to do them and we want to keep that uh, way we don't want to reinvent the wheel so i created a concept and it's right here on this computer here and what i'm gonna do um stay away baby what i'm gonna do i'm gonna turn her off so you can see how she turns off and then we're gonna turn her on again so let's jump into the computer and let me show you what I did and um, this was created not only for the Metro users but also 
for the for the old school users. Welcome. This is the uh, the Acer E Machine E720. This is my my lovely machine. I, I really love this machine. Why? Because this machine, my friends, it can run several operating systems and it runs them really, really, really good. And what you're looking at is uh, the um, the Windows 9 development <laughs> development. Uh, um, how you call it? Uh, desktop cause we have several desktops as you can see and um, well I'm gonna start up the machine first before I'm gonna show you all the little secrets but it really looks amazing and um, well this is the desktop I can show you we did some changes the start menu came on top because uh, yeah that is just a little bit easier and that is also the bond that that Apple and Microsoft you know are also having you know and uh, well here at the side you can also see that we have um, a sort of uh, nice uh, toolbar for let our programs uh, you know be really easy to access okay what we're gonna do now we gonna uh, we gonna shut off the computer. We gonna turn her off, and there you go. And you can see um, Windows 8 is turning off. So there you go. And now she's turned off. So, and now my friends, we gonna turn her on. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. This is the E machine E720. There we go. Windows 8 second edition booting up. And you can see I changed uh, the login. Now we would go to the um, how you call it to the metro screen, but that is now changed. The metro screen will not uh, boot anymore as the first uh, screen. We will go to the login screen. This is the login screen I created together with the help of my friends, of course. There you go. So, and now we just put in our credentials or our password, and then our baby will start up. And you see um, that this dot, this this desktop is showing, but that is because uh, we can. Uh, it reminds you that there's also a metro built in into the system. And there we go. And the system is started up. It's uh, not so fast as the as the Windows 8 um, how you call it the original uh, Windows 8, the 9200, but you have all the functionalities back and uh, for my Metro users, uh, I also have to, hold on, I have to start up one more program. This is still very experimental. This is still very experimental and you can see that I'm using Bitdefender Free Edition 2009 and uh, yeah well this is the system as you can see 
um, it's a real nice and quiet system and uh, I will show you the programs in a second here you can see um, in the computer you see in your desktop you see a little other screen and up there you have all your icons you see that you have all your icons in here and that is really easy because um, you can now easily find them you know just by scrolling you can you know find them more easily than if they are spread up on your desktop and by double clicking you know they are gone so that is uh, also very very nice it's a very nice uh, uh, thingy of this uh, Windows uh, 8 second edition concept I created and by pressing the F11 we can uh, go to the several desktops we have we have um, this is uh, our working desktop and then up here we can go we have another working desktop yeah and up here we will go to the Metro desktop and this is more for um, the new users so if they don't want to use the old part of uh, of Windows they can just go here and just you know work from here as uh, uh, they uh, already used uh, Metro. Of course, this is uh, not uh, fully functional yet, still working on it. But um, this is uh, the idea that um, you know you will have several desktops and that you can just choose uh, up here. Um, you can see another desktop. This is for the late night evenings, you know, when uh, you want to do some, you know, some uh, discovery on the internet. So, you know, um, of course you will also have your icons here and your stuff here but this is a totally different desktop than uh, for instance uh, desktop one whatever you do up here will never ever show on the other desktops you can also insert a password to go to another desktop and you know so you can protect your works on the other desktop for other users but uh, that is of course uh, not really necessary in my case this is uh, my Windows 9 uh, development uh, desktop up here I'm still working on the Windows 9 uh, concept whatever I'm gonna create of it that hap that is happening in here um, also the very uh, lovely uh, start screen we can also put the start menu at the bottom as you can see and then you have your old-fashioned uh, windows back uh, only uh, difference is you will have now a very beautiful beautiful um, orb making your system looking all nice but it's not about looking nice right it's about being functional and uh, I can tell you, I've been working with this desktop for uh, a couple of days now before I wanted to show it. And here you also have the start here at top. You can go to the start, you can also do crazy things here. You know, like, oops. You can do really crazy things like, you know, spinning your desktop. <laughs> You can do all sorts of stupid things. You can also uh, make your desktop go away. So it's just a small, a little small spinning, beautiful case. Can you see that? It's fully, 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 fully 3D and really beautiful. So this is the spinning desktop. I really love it. It has six sides and um, yeah. You can uh, do many beautiful things uh, up here and you will have beautiful inspiration, uh, my friend. The most beautiful things here on this little beautiful computer. With thanks, of course, to my friends that also uh, created the, the software to do all these little uh, beautiful things here on uh, this laptop. I'm really happy. Um, of course this is not finished yet for instance uh, I'm still working on uh, on this desktop here this is uh, yeah this desktop will be the Apple desktop and up here um, you know 
this 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 desktop will you know will have the looks and feels of Apple I will also make it this way that we can also change uh, that we will have four four start menus and you know uh, they will all look different so for instance this will have uh, Apple um, orb and the other one will have a windows 8 orb and the other one will ma maybe have uh, a windows uh, 95 orb anyway all kidding on the stick um i must say if you think this was functional let me know because we are really trying to find a way to you know make things work for us the user the end user and um you know if you think this this thingy, this concept was nice, hit this video thumbs up. If you think it sucked, don't hit the video, nothing, just leave and watch a better video. I will try to make a better concept next time. Anyway, YouTube, thank you for watching. This was Puck from Groningen, the Netherlands. And uh, I must say, um, keep it up, stay on top, you know, and don't make it drop. Till my next video. Bye now.